This is the Keycon K2 Wireless Mechanical Keyboard. This is one of the most popular options on the market right now, with tech influencers and YouTubers like Marquez Brownlee switching over to this keyboard. It comes in at a relatively affordable price as well of $70, which is cheaper than some of the other offerings from companies like Corsair, Logitech, and Razer. But what makes this keyboard so special? And why should you choose this as your first mechanical keyboard? Let's get started! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Fenson and I'm here to explain why you should buy the Keycon K2 as your first mechanical keyboard through the art of Gadgetsu. Starting off with the hardware, this is one hella good looking keyboard. It features a minimalistic design that should fit most setups pretty well, and it has a black and gray color scheme with a set of really nice looking keycaps, and an orange escape key as a cherry on top. This keyboard also has some really surprising build quality for one that is made out of plastic, as it has no creaks or any obvious flex when I bend it. There is an aluminum option for an added premium however for those who want more solid build quality and a better feel in the hand. Another feature of this keyboard is the relatively compact layout. This keyboard has what's called a 75% layout, which means that it sacrifices a few unnecessary keys and the number pad in exchange for a smaller footprint. Lastly, one area of concern you do need to know about is the thickness because this keyboard is really thick even compared to other mechanical keyboards on the market. But you're definitely going to want a wrist rest if your table isn't low enough or else you're going to strain your wrist and that is not good for you. Next, moving on to the features. The reason why this keyboard was so successful on Kickstarter was not only because of its modern or minimalistic looks, but rather because this was one of the few wireless mechanical keyboard options on the market at that time. And there are two ways to connect this keyboard. One, which is through the USB-C cable, which is conveniently also used for charging, and the other one is through Bluetooth. The best thing about this keyboard is that this keyboard can connect to three different Bluetooth devices at the same time, and you can easily switch through them by holding function and one, two, or three. This keyboard also supports Mac and Windows specific keys, which you can toggle through the switch on the left side of the keyboard. Keycon is also kind enough to provide some additional keycaps for each individual machine. And to power all of this, this keyboard has a big 4000 mAh battery, which should last you a couple of weeks depending on your usage and depending on the level of backlighting you use on the keyboard. Which brings me to the final point, the backlighting. This keyboard comes in two different flavors, white backlighting and RGB backlighting. And if you're an RGB lover like me, and I'm pretty sure many of you are, you're definitely going to want to spend those extra $10 for the RGB option, as there are so many cool features and effects you can play around with. Now that I told you about this keyboard's hardware features, Many of you may be wondering, why should you buy a mechanical keyboard? The answer is simple, the typing experience. Mechanical keyboards use real springs in their switches, which provides you a more satisfying feedback when you type on them, especially through the feel and the sound. Each key also has a much larger travel distance in comparison to chiclet keyboards found in laptops or those mushy membrane keyboards that you find for like $20. Now that we got the question answered, there are three main switch types you should know about when buying a mechanical keyboard. The red switch, the blue switch, and the brown switch. Beginning with the red switches, these switches are known as the linear switches because when you press down on them, the keys go down in a fast and smooth motion with no click or bump. These are what gamers prefer and this is what they sound like. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you have the blue switches. These are known as the clicky switches because when you type on them, you can feel each distinct bump in the keys, and it also gives off an audible click which is really satisfying and sounds like a typewriter, but it can get really loud which can piss a lot of people off. This is what they sound like.
Lastly, the brown switches are like the middle sibling of the red and blue switches. These switches are known as tactile, as they have the smooth and silky feeling of the red switches while having that satisfying click and bump of the blue switches. This is what they sound like. Lastly, I do have a couple nitpicks about this keyboard's typing experience. First, if you're in a really quiet room and you listen very carefully to the keyboard, you can hear this little annoying metallic ping. But usually when you're using the keyboard, you don't really notice it, so it doesn't really matter that much. Another nitpick is the inconsistent switches for each keys, as the spacebar sort of rattles a bit and each different key sounds a little bit different. But this is expected at this price point, so there's not much to worry about. Now that you know everything about this keyboard, why should you pick this instead of other offerings from Logitech, Razer, or Corsair? Well first is the design. This keyboard doesn't have the ugly overstated gamery look of those keyboards, and it also has a smaller footprint as well. Second, this keyboard uses better quality components compared to some of the cheaper gaming keyboards on the market you can find right now. Lastly, this keyboard is wireless and affordable. Keyword, affordable. If you look at some other options in the market, such as Logitech's G915, you will find that those can cost over $200, and I don't think anyone should be spending that money on a keyboard, unless you're a keyboard enthusiast. Taking everything into consideration, I definitely think that this keyboard is perfect for anyone looking to join the world of mechanical keyboards. It's relatively affordable, it's great looking, it has wireless connection, and hits all the spots for a good keyboard. And once you join the world of mechanical keyboards, you will never look back and your fingers and ears will thank you. And that's it for today guys! Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and if you didn't like this video, consider leaving a comment down below for any suggestions you would like to give to us. Lastly, please subscribe to help kickstart this channel. Alright, see you guys later!